Yo, what is going on guys? Loco here and I'm back with a brand new video. FNCS has been going crazy this past week and a pro player on EU actually got banned for eating floppers in Storm. Without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. All right, so you might have automatically assumed by the thumb and title that Cray has been stopped and banned. Well, you're wrong. If you don't know who Cray is, I've actually done one of my first videos on this channel about him. Cray is a pro player on EU, but he's not that kind of pro player. Cray, back in Chapter 2, had figured out the system in which that no one has done before. He landed behind Slurpee at one point, and him and his trio just went around backside fishing and collecting every single white heal possible. As Storm closes in, him and his trio specifically lined up their excess heals throughout the storm, leaving some on campfires and others near slurp barrels. The goal of this is to eventually outlive the storm and be the last man standing. It seems almost impossible, and there's also a ton of variables such as if the zone is a max pull early, that means that he will have to spend more time in storm than normal, etc. You, you get what I'm saying. The Cray Strat took the comm by storm, and literally everyone was talking about it. Fast forward to Chapter 3, and it's not just Cray doing it anymore. With the introductions to Med Mist and Coolers all over the map, it seems like they buffed the Cray Strat, so EU player Von Trek seemed like he wanted to try it out himself. Alright, so picture this. Remember before how I said you could leave some heals on the campfire, and then some more heals on the slurp barrel, and then his teammates would go to nearby campfires to leave even more heals for him? It's a campfire chain, and before the season, you just had to casually sprint from campfire to campfire. Since tactical sprint and sliding is now in the game, it gives the heal off players a quicker and easier route to chain campfires. The faster your character moves, the more ground you can cover, and in turn, the longer you can stay in storm and heal. FNCS round 1 and 2 just popped off, and Von Trek spends most of his time inside the storm enough time to even qualify for finals and his twitter instantly blew up averaging 40 likes per tweet to now hundreds and hundreds he instantly got a bit of a following to see if he can make a grand finals without a single elimination oddly enough right before finals von Trex tweeted i'm officially banned for the whole fncs thanks for the support love you all he then tweeted i wish you all good luck for fncs especially to the heal offers if you don't think there's an issue then you're definitely wrong let me just clear something up. To our knowledge, Von Trex has not done a duplicate glitch or anything where he's actually breaking the mechanics of the game. He's simply using a strategy to outlive Surge and also the Storm while collecting placement points. It would be different if he had some kind of duplicate script, which you guys, if you guys don't remember, existed in the past, and he qualified through all of the rounds, and right before he queued up for finals, he was banned off Fortnite. He recently tweeted, can I please have a final answer of why I got banned? And then tagged FN Competitive and Sundown. Crazy part about this is that he's apparently only banned from FNCS. And he's actually still allowed to play Arena and Cash Cups according to his tweets. Epic for sure needs to figure something out about this because banning people mid FNCS after spending so much time on the game is a bit absurd. Removing campfires from Storm, make Men Mist do less healing in Storm. I don't know the solution. I'm not an expert, but surely something needs to happen. Cray started the movement, and I'm sure this won't be the last person to qualify by eating fish in the Storm. Hell, I might even do it myself if I think I stood no chance to qualify legit. And by legit, I mean play the game on how it's supposed to be played. I'm really not knocking Cray or Von, Von Trex here. I think it's super cool that they could figure out another way to win without actually fragging and playing endgames. I have died to the strategy once where I took second place and when I went back into replays I saw someone so far away just eating floppers in zone and it definitely did not feel good however I took it on the chin like it is what it is you know what I mean this guy spent so much time learning the strategies and the routes and the campfire and the fishing and all this stuff like if he wants to beat me and I'll get a second that's fine with me. I do, however, think that it would be more of an issue if everyone was doing it. And maybe that's what Epic is trying to do. Prevent everyone from trying to do this. But I'll let you guys know an update later in the future on this matter. But I'd like to quickly discuss some other stuff that's been going on in FNCS. As you guys probably know, they removed most cars from the game in competitive. And IO cars are still on the map. And there are a total of three taxi spawns spread throughout. If you want, you can DM me on Twitter and I can share with you guys the taxi spawns because I know not everyone knows about them. And in my opinion, if you guys want to do good in FNCS and cash cups, cars are an absolute necessity. Besides the heal off stuff, the first two rounds of FNCS went pretty smoothly. The end games are pretty much back to normal. Cars aren't exploding everywhere and you can actually move since there is just less lag overall. 
Top five people from each region auto qualify for grand finals. So with that being said, there is one more week left for the teams to auto qual. Everyone else will be put into heats where we will see who can prove themselves worthy of a grand final spot. Guys, like always, don't forget to like the video and make sure you're subscribed to stay up to date on literally everything Fortnite and Fortnite competitive related. I appreciate you guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Much love. Peace out.